Lawrence! Lawrence, are you okay? Aaron! Aaron! Calm down. I didn't deliver a blow strong enough to kill him. Or knock him out for that matter. Quickly, let's get back to the place where he can recover. I'll carry him. Lead the way. All right. Follow me. Oh, gosh. Lawrence. Aaron, what did you do to him? I slashed at him. Enough to draw him back. Or at least, I thought it would be enough to trigger his defense reflexes. But he didn't even move. Nor flinch for that matter. Which is concerning. It was pretty obvious he was going to kill you where you stood. Your love of him made you vulnerable enough to allow yourself to become an easy target. You must have seen it in his eyes. Lawrence was no longer there. <laughs> no, Lawrence... <laughs> he would never... Look at me. That was not Lawrence. You are allowing your feelings for him to cloud your judgment. Do, not under you, do you not understand that he was not there, nor the same person? As far as I am concerned, you are the only one who can stop him if he goes ballistic. You are the only one who can bring people back from the dead. Are you so selfish to say that you would rather Lawrence strike you down than for me to interfere, even if it means killing him? Uh, I, I... 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 Lawrence would not want to come back to himself knowing that he killed you in a blind rage. Aaron. I'm sorry, it's just... This is a situation where you, as a leader, need to think of yourself, not just for you, but to those who look to you as the one they chose to follow. Now, I'll leave you be with Lawrence. I don't know why I was able to take him down so easily, but know that someone of his strength, know that for someone of his strength, it shouldn't have. I'll be downstairs if you need me. Aaron, Aaron, wait, I... Lawrence? You're awake! What happened? Where am I? Why are my arms numb? You're in... You're in my room. You transformed into your Shadow Knight form to help stop the Shadow Souls from breaking through the gate of Scaleswind. The only thing is, you ended up turning your blade on me. I, I did what? No. D did I hurt you? No, um, Aaron stopped you. I owe him my sincerest gratitude. Ugh, what the? What is this pain in my shoulder? Uh, it, it's a bruise. Aaron must have done that. Ugh, what did he do, drop an entire building on me? This feels like a broken bone instead of a bruise. Mother of Irene, it hurts. I, let me see. Well, uh, how do you feel? It feels better. It, is this the power of the relic you absorbed from the Irene dimension? I, it must be. I never had the ability to do these sorts of things until we left that place. It feels so surreal and uncomforting. I mean, it's a blessing to be able to do this, but I'm not feeling any side effects from doing these kinds of things anymore. It's... Weird. It's a wonderful thing. However, does it feel evil to you? What? Evil? What are you talking about? Nothing. This feeling feels all too familiar, so it can't be you. It was definitely that giant shadow soul. It had to be. I remember what happened now. I got too cocky with the ability to go in and out of my new Shadow Knight form that... I allowed myself to become corrupt. Wait, what? It's difficult to explain, and honestly, I don't know too much about it. But think of it this way. Shadow Knights are much more powerful than Shadow Souls due to the fact that we have a physical body. Shadow Souls are weaklings compared to us. However, Shadow Knight's rage can cause Shadow Souls to become even more powerful. By turning into a Shadow Knight, I essentially fueled my own corruption. You're... What? What is... Huh? 
It's when a transformed Shadow Knight can no longer control their own thought process and becomes a brain-dead, empty shell bent on destruction of all things. It can happen so many different ways, mostly due to anger, sadness, grief, or being tainted by the thoughts of others, as you just saw happen to me. Uh, Lawrence, if you can't control yourself, then I don't want you to transform into the Shadow Knight. Not at least until you learn how to stop yourself from becoming corrupted. The truth is, is that if Aaron was not there, then I probably would have allowed you to kill me. Uh, then what? You'd have gone on to hurt everyone else, and it... It just... It, I don't even know anymore. Afmel, come here. What? I would never hurt you or anyone else. I promise I won't go into that form until I know I can control it. Uh, why did you... Why did you kiss me just now? Sealing a promise. <laughs> kind of funny, though. I was expecting you to pull away. You shouldn't do that. You said you were going to wait for Garth before you tried to make any advances on me. Y you're right. I'm sorry. It's just hard to hold back when I know you obviously have feelings for me. Wait, 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 what? Then deny it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Next time you see Garth in your dreams, tell him about what's been going on between us. I don't want him to come back here knowing these kinds of details. Not knowing these kinds of details. Also, tell him he can kick my butt if he wants. Uh, but... But enough of this. I'm gonna go back to my own room to rest there. I really need to rest. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Oh, dang it! I feel like my heart is being pulled in two different directions and it's... It's gonna break between those two. This is just... This is horrible. I... No. No, no, stop thinking about that stuff. You have responsibilities to worry about, and I need to go check on Nicole and everyone to see how they're doing with the Shadow Souls. I need to- Oh, oh my gosh! N N nicole <laughs> Hey! <laughs> how long have- <laughs> How long have you been there? Long enough to see and hear everything that went on in your room. Sorry to be nosy, but, um, it's kind of hard not to listen in when you guys are talking so loud after Lawrence was screaming in pain. Uh, uh, this... <laughs> what happened to the Shadow Souls, Nicole? Well, thanks to Lawrence, we were able to get enough of them away from the gate so our guards could get their bearings. Bad news is they were stronger this time, and if I heard correctly, it was because of Lawrence as well. But thankfully, they've all been vanquished for now. Caitlin told me if we can find and destroy their source portal, then we can rid the area of them, for a period of time. I have a patrol set out to do that. Now, let's talk about you and Lawrence for a moment, shall we? Uh, um, it's... It's really not your business, Nicole. I'm making it my business now. I saw the way you two kissed. Even if you try to deny it, I can tell you're at least falling for him. Tell me, what's holding you back? Uh, uh, um... <laughs> uh... Well, there's Garth and... Uh, actually, all of the above. N Nicole, it's just... A lot. Nicole, first off, there's the fact that... Yes, I've known Lawrence for a long time, but... I want to make my time to get to know all of who he is. Uh, second, I'm leading an alliance now, and I haven't even established the base of operations or place of my own where I can stay and say, hey, this is where you can find the Phoenix Alliance, and, and, and then there's Gareth, and, I mean, I told you about the dream where he kissed me and confessed his feelings for me as well. From then on, we've been talking a lot, and I don't know what to think anymore. Why does my love life have to be so complicated? It's only complicated because you're making it complicated. Look, between Lawrence and Garth, 
you're going to have to make a choice eventually. Lawrence is here, and Garth... Well, he's not. Yes, he sacrificed a lot for you, but so did Lawrence. Huh. Wow. That makes this really tough on you, I bet. <laughs> All joking aside, the point I'm trying to make is... Don't wait. Trust me. Don't make excuses to wait on something. She starts tearing up. She's trying to fight back the tears. Because if you do, then you'll find that the one you truly love has moved on without you, and you'll spend every day wondering, what if I had not been a stubborn jerk? Would I be happy with him? Uh, oh, is it because she... Uh, <laughs> um... I mean, Nicole, are, are you okay? You're you're tearing up a little bit. Eh? Huh? Oh! <laughs> no, 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 sorry. It's just after the battle with the Shadow Souls, I'm rather parched. <clears throat> In any case, I'm going to go on and account the damage done by the Shadow Souls. Uh, just think about what I told you, okay? I'll be outside. All right. Yeah. Um... Even Nicole, I just... Ugh, Nicole, I swear, even you have to make this even more difficult. I just... Ugh, this is why I don't try to think about these kinds of things. I should just leave it alone for now. Just don't even think about that kind of stuff. <sighs> Alright, let's go see what's going on. Uh, Caitlin! Hey! Oh, Celeste! Uh, uh, you got a book, is that... I've got some bad news. I had Nicole's maidens as well as the librarian look over all the books. Not a single one was found on Irene's powers, or the curse we have on us. <laughs> Wait, seriously, you mean nothing at all? Not even in the town? Nope, nothing. Not even in the town. Our trip to Scalesman was for naught. Thankfully, we were also looking for more than just information. You've got Scalesman in the Alliance now, plus those foreigners. Our alliance has come far from Phoenix Drop, the Chicken Village, and Matelli. Yes, it's true. We are growing. However, ugh, Caitlin, I think I want to go ahead and head back to Phoenix Drop. I don't think we have a reason to be here any longer as I- Wait, Caitlin, where, where are you going? Mel, Leon and I just got back from our trip, and Nicole said you were here, and I didn't believe her one bit, but then I saw you, and I went through that door, and I couldn't help myself. My gosh, I can't believe it's you. She's crying. Oh my gosh, Kiki, how have you been? She wipes her tears away. Ah, I've been fine. I've been fine. But you, it's been at least 15 years. Nicole gave me a brief summary when we were outside, but my gosh, you haven't aged one bit. Oh, uh, speaking of aging, allow me to introduce you to, er, reintroduce you to someone. L Leona, come in here! This is Leona. Leona, you don't remember Athmau, but she's mommy best friend from when you were a baby. Uh, uh, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My mother speaks the moon about you. <laughs> I hate to cut introductions short, but Leona, can you make sure the animals get back to the barn safe from the carriage? I'll come join you in a bit. I just want to catch up for a moment. Uh, of course, Mother. I'd be happy to. Oh, and don't bark at them while you do it, okay? Last time you scared the chickens half to death. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> uh, Leona, I know that means you're going to. Ugh. <laughs> I just... <laughs> what? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, what am I going to do with that girl? <laughs> well, first off, she seems hilarious, but... She... she she's a werewolf? Huh? Oh, uh, that's right. Um, well, you see, she's been a werewolf since she was a baby. She started to transform on full moons every night a year after you left. Which, Lucinda said, is... Very common for werewolves born of human mothers and werewolf fathers. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 So, Leona, I mean, <laughs> Kiki, Leona, but whose daughter is she? She, she's mine, of course, but we aren't sure who the father is. 
For a long time, I always thought the father was Zane, seeing as he was the one who gave me the pendant. Not to mention Leona has black hair just like him. But I guess I was wrong. Lucinda speculates that the father must have been a pure-blooded werewolf who pricked his finger on the pendant. Uh, d d Kiki, could it have... I mean, I know you and Boldoff had a weird thing, but I mean, d could it have been Boldoff? I don't know, and I don't even know where we'd begin to look into that. The pendant is gone, and all I know is that I have a precious daughter. Even if she is a little rambunctious sometimes. Kiki, <laughs> Oh, but... I digress. I need to tend to the animals we brought back and make sure they're okay. Once I'm done, I'll come back here and we can have some dinner together. Nicole said it would be alright. Plus, I'll make my best cake for you. I'll be back later. Ciao! <laughs> I can't believe that she's... <laughs> I can't believe she's just... Oh my gosh, she's gotten so much so... Just... Uh, Leona and... Oh, hey! Oh my gosh, I... Sorry, I just spaced out there for a second. <sighs> Kiki's a powerhouse when she wants to be. She ran right through me when I said you were inside. Jeez. Anyway, Afmal, I want to know what your plans are now that Kiki is here. I know with her here, all the things you set out to accomplish are complete. Are you going to stay here in Scalesman for a bit? Um... Nicole, I... I actually want to return to Phoenix Drop. <laughs> How did I know? I kind of figured as much. We have a dock very close to Scaleswind that you can use to get back to Phoenix Drop quickly. It's our sea trade route. I've already talked to the captain about having you aboard tomorrow. Not to mention, I've already told my chefs to prepare a wonderful banquet for everyone. <laughs> You'll be sent back to Phoenix Drop in style. D did you say Phoenix Drop? Uh. What? N no I didn't. Uh, yes, you did. That's what you said. Can we go there, please? Uh, Dimitri, why do you want to keep going there? Uh, because Grandpa used to tell me stories about the big war he led on that place, and how you punched him in the face to stop it. I've always wanted to see that place. Plus, we've been everywhere else you and Grandpa visited as kids. Why can't we go there? Pretty please? Dimitri... Phoenix Drop is in shambles, and it's not a nice place to be. Uh, but Mom, you just said you got a boat there. Uh, sorry, bud, but my answer is still no. <laughs> it's not fair. We go everywhere else in the world. Why not there? Because I said so. Now go to your room for raising your voice. You just did it too. Ahem. <laughs> uh, um. Pardon me, Afmal. <clears throat> uh, oh, 